What's up you guys, Hi House here today and I'm going to bring you the latest update of League of Angels Fire Raiders version 2.3. So the major update in this version is the Relic System. So it's a huge content, there's so much things to do and the system itself is tr uh, it's quite complex. So I am going to bring you guys on a walkthrough on today's Relic tutorial. If you guys are ready, let's go. Hey guys, the version 2.3 update was completed at server time 6am and if you head down to your mailbox, you will find the developers has rewarded us with a bunch of rewards. So GT Celebrate, GT Arcade celebrates the current update as one which I quote would ascend the game to new heights. So I've, co I've collected the items, <coughs> 500 diamonds, gold and stamina. So talking about the relic system guys, are you guys excited? The relic system in LOA, I guess, is uniquely crafted and designed to allow you to recreate your team's offense or defense with the set bonuses provided by the relics. So I believe that these relics affect your entire army of heroes, giving them increased BR rating and stats and armament buff. But we'll talk about that in elaboration. So for the relic system, this is the main relics page, which provides you details on your equipped relics the relic rules on the top right hand corner, the smelting function at the bottom left, your relic shop and your relic tab. There is a relic dungeon as well. So first up, when you open the page, you will realize that we see this spider web looking emblem on our screens, which looks really cool. So this is the relic loadout. The relic loadout will give us an overview of the relics that we are currently equipped with. So right now, Take the relic equipment, like um, take this as an equipment page for your relics and there are a total of 8 relics that a player can equip at any point of time. And you'll realize that your items are green in color. These are the green color because GT Arcade provides all players with the basic green armament sets which only provides basic stats here and there are no armament buffs. We'll come to that in a, uh, in a later part. So to view your relics, how are you going to, to view your relics? Click on the relic icon at the bottom left on, on the screen. So we're going to click it now. And right here, you can see three tabs. First, the relic tab. So this tab provides you uh, and shows you all the relics that you own in your inventory. And the relics which are already equipped are marked with the equipped word. So to equip a new relic to your, your relic loadout, you, you've got to press on the item and select equip on the bottom right. And this is where you can equip the item. You will see that um, my rating increased because I have equipped a blue armament instead of the green one. Uh, more on that later. And you can have an option to also smelt your relics. So you can also smelt your relics in the smelt tab right here, if you see. So these are two ways that you can smell. So what's smelting about? Now you realize that um, smelting allows you to um, use this item. So most of my items are used, but I can smelt an item for relic tokens. And we will come to that later. And right now you realize that the relics are equipped at a default position. For example, if I am going to equip, um, let me see, if I'm going to equip, let me see, the wind hood, it will only be equipped on the first loadout slot, which is on the on the top. You see that it's loading in a while. So the wind hood is here right now. You can only equip a specific item at a specific slot. And this is because relics are grouped according to their item type. So this is a hat, this is a circlet, this is a, a ring, this is a cloak, this is a wind boots. We've got the pants, we've got the weapon, and we've got the armor so depending on the armor type you can only equip that item to a specific slot right now we're gonna introduce you to the handbook tab under the relic tab this is the handbook tab in the handbook tab we are given a preview of every single relic available in the game so you can check out all the relics and those that you have are colored going back to the green armor relic this is the set that GT Arcade provides all players with. So I advise players not to stick with the green armor, but instead wisely upgrade their armament setup as soon as possible. So the next level of armaments are the flame armament, the earth armament, and the ice armament. 
So these are the three different elemental armaments that we will find in the relic setup. Um, and each armament gives you a different armament buffs, which is found on the left side of the screen. We're going to go back to the flame armament first. So looking at the left side of the screen, we can see that this is a fair fire fairy's bow. The basic stat is given on the top, this stat is added to your hero. Right now there is the armament buff. We are looking at the 2 set right now. Um, a 2 set armament buff will be activated when a player equips 2 flame elemental armament. So what I mean by that is if I equip um, the fire fairy bow and the fire fairy's helmet, I will see that this will be lighted up. So I'm going to equip the fire fairy's bow as well as the fire fairy's helmet. So right now I have the two items equipped, the fire fairy's, the fire fairy's helmet and the bow. And you will realize that the armament buff has lighted up. So for a 2 set, I'm able to get an increased attack for all heroes by 46 plus an additional 0.36% of their max attack. So if you have a 4 set ar um, fire armament, you'll get the following. And you'll get a 6 set item buff if you equip 6 flame armament equipment. And finally, this is the final thing that everyone wants to get, which is which is an 8 set where you have a complete 8 set flame item that is built up in your relic slot. So effectively, the 8 set armament buff is the strongest. You would want to build your team on a single elemental armament instead of having different armaments, well, all over the place. So this is where proper investment and farming takes place. Once you have decided on an elemental armament type, you gotta work on that single air element. So work on either the flame armament, the earth armament, or the ice armament. So be sure to, to read through the armament buff to make your decisions. Right now, looking at the bottom of the handbook, we can see that these flame armaments are blue in color, the blue flame armament, blue earth, and blue ice armament. Next up, we have the next rank, which is the purple rank, which is purple flame armament, purple earth armament, and purple ice armament. Finally, the final level of the armaments are the orange ranking, where you can see the flame armament, earth armament, and, and ice armament, which are orange in color. So promoting your relic to the next rank requires specific relics to be leveled up as well as specific items. Now we move back on to the fragments tab. In the fragments tab, you can see that to create an armament, you are required 20 shards in order to synthesize the shards into the items. So these shards can be purchased in the relic shop over here or can be obtained in the relic dungeon. For example, looking at the fairy's hood, the water fairy's hood right here, I currently have 5 of that shard. So I will require another 15 shards in order to synthesize the item. This can be done by clicking on the synthesize button which will also cost me 20k to do so. So once that is done, I will have Water Fairy's Hood as an item. So we're going back now to the main relics page. You can see on the left hand corner, this is the relic stats column. This is the place where you will be able to find the total boost rate, which is the BR rating that the relics have provided for you. You can see the HP, the agility, the physical attack, magical attack, physical defense, magical defense, as well as the armament buff, which I have uh, explained earlier on. The total boost rate of your relics will be added onto your overall BR rating of your heroes, angels, emblems, and runes BR. So this is it for the relic stats column. Next up, we'll talk about the relic shop. The shop can be accessed by the relic system where you press on the relic shop button or you go on to the shop button here where you have to scroll all the way down to the relic shop. Now with the relic system, GD Arcade has introduced a new currency called the relic token. This is used to purchase the items in the relic shop. These tokens can be obtained in the relic dungeon as well as in the process called smelting. Going back to the relic shop, we can see that the first item on sale is the epic relic chest, which costs a thousand diamonds to purchase. So if this option is vastly created for players who wants to power up their relics in the quickest way possible. Looking at the other items in the shop, we can see three new types of items 
found in the relic shop. First, you can find relic stones. These are upgrade stones used to promote an armament blue plus one, blue plus two, plus three, and plus four, so on and so forth. Very similar to the items that we have when we equip with our heroes. To view the amount of relic stones you have, head down to your inventory, miscellaneous tab, and you can find the relic stones. Currently, I have 106. The next item that I want to talk about in the relic shop is the armament shards. So these are the shards which I have explained to you where 20 shards would make up an item. The last item that can be found in the shop is the relic crystals. So they look like this and they are used to power up your relics to the next level. So how do we level up our relics? This is a very simple process which works similarly to our emblem level system. By going to the relic page over here, you can select the armament for promotion simply by, by clicking it on the relic loadout page. I am going to promote the fire helmet. Under the level up tab, I can consume items in order to increase the level of the relic. So we can either consume relic crystals like this, or we can use relic items to level up our items. So as you level up the relic, so will their basic stats increase as well as the BR rating. Take note that the armament buff will increase only by promoting the item to the next rank. So leveling up your item will not increase the armament buff, it will only be increased when you promote it to purple as well as orange. Next up, upgrading relics. To upgrade a relic, move on to the upgrade tab and players can promote the items according to the level up requirement. So right now, the level up requirement for the Fire Fairy's Helmet is level 5 on the Fairy's Helmet as well as 100 Relic Stones. So we're going to increase the Fire Fairy Helmet and bring it to level 5. So it consumes 35,000 gold. We're going to the Upgrade tab and you can see that I have met the requirements for leveling up. This will bring my Fire Fairy Helmet from level from blue to blue plus 1. Let's go! Alright, and you can see that the BR rating increase and stats increase as well. So, so you can see that the next level up requirement for a plus 1 to go to a plus 2 requires me a plus 1 helmet as well as a normal helmet. Finally, let us check out the replace tab. The replace tab basically allows you to see what other types of relics can be equipped under your current relic slot. So for example, I can choose the wind hood to replace my fire fairy's helmet and when I replace, it replaces the Fire Fairy Helmet on the loadout screen. So don't worry that um, people might fear that the replace tab would consume your items or, or destroy your item, but that's not going to happen, so don't worry about it. It's a function allowing you to equip other relics conveniently. Finally, we move on to the dungeon. To access the dungeon, head down to the bottom right icon, Dungeon, to enter the relic dungeon. So the dungeon is split into 14 chapters, which you can see over here, chapter 1, all the way to 14. And every chapter has 10 stages for players to complete. Right now, I'm, at, I'm only at chapter 2. You can see the flags on the top right hand uh, top corner, and these indicate the stages that you have to go through from the start to the end. So it's a linear type of battle when pl where players are rewarded with treasure chests and cards as they fight their way from stage 1 of the dungeon all the way to stage 10 where a grand prize awaits. So take note that every stage requires stamina to play. So in every stage, players will face mostly up to 2 opponents and have an option to either manually fight like this, so you have to encounter the opponent and you have 2 opponents you can challenge them and you have an option to either do an auto mode where you win the battle swift and victoriously or you do a, a fight where you have to go through the entire stage. Um, so this is, you only use this if you are unsure whether your team is strong enough um, to beat the opponent. So right now I am going to do an auto mode battle and win these two stages for chapter, chapter 2 level 5 of the frozen tundra and I, and I have completed. You will realize that after clearing every stage, players are given an option to flip three cards, a bronze card, a silver card, 
and a gold card which cost 120 diamonds for a silver card and 300 diamonds for a gold card. Opening the bronze card, we've received a relic crystal small which gives us 100 relic energy. I'm going to open the silver card which, give, which gives me 2 of fairy's legging and finally the gold card which will give me 4 fire fairy's helmet shard. So once this is done, you don't have to open the, the silver and gold card but the bronze card is is, um, is default given to you. We can move on. And you and you will realize that the loots of the stage are displayed on the bottom of the screen to give players an overview of what type of items they can farm at every chapter. So once you complete a chapter, which I have done so, I have completed chapter 1 right here, you are given an option to plunder. So if you plunder through the chapter, it will allow you to farm for items in the current chapter without wasting time and effort going through the stages. You can select a number of times that you want to bleed or plunder, plunder the stage. So one time means that you go through the stage once which will cost you 60 stamina and twice will cost you 120 stamina. You have the option to select whether or not you want to open all the silver and gold cards. So once you hit plunder, you're all set. Yep, and this is plunder, like that. All the way up. So you really earn items as quickly as possible without going through the entire process. So the relic system is intriguing. There's so much to do in the relic update and I hope I have helped you guys to clear up some questions that you have on the relic system. We have come to the end of today's relic system update. So I hope that this video has been informative to you and hope you guys enjoyed the video that I've put up. Um, we'll continue to play on League of Angels and enjoy this major update which is the biggest for version 2.3. So I hope you guys continue to play on, invest well in the relic system and think before you invest in either the flame, the earth or the ice armament. So for myself, I might go for the ice armament but I don't know, I'll, I'll check it out and I will see. So, so once again, this is High House from Server Essex. If you haven't subscribed to my video, please do so in the button below and I'll see you guys soon in the next League of Angels video. Ciao!